Now, talking about immune you know, uh, surveillance or, or escaping immunity, this is what I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but what I was taught is, you know, really early on, I think the melanoma was first kind of suspected in the 1700s or 1800s, but it got to a point where people started observing that if you have a melanoma lesion, so kind of treatment was actually to rake it or scrape it just to try to, not to cut it off, but to really inflame it. And that there were responses where you saw all of a sudden this lesion or potentially this cancer actually regress. Why? Because, you know, in theory, you're literally stimulating inflammation and in all of your immune cells to go and do something about it. And, this, and we're talking obviously like forever ago, but was that something that was seen in history? It's like, I don't know why, but when I scrape this thing and they can make it all angry, it seems to do better. Yeah, no, that's true. That is that is in the in the deep history. Um, melanoma is, you know, as I'm sure um, nearly everyone who's listening to this um, discussion knows, is you know, it's a superficial cancer in its primary form. In nearly all cases, there are these kind of somewhat rare, more internal forms, if you will, that you know, where melanoma start there. But leave those aside. In general, it's superficial. Um, and of course, there are other skin cancers that are superficial. But melanoma, just to uh, remind folks that it's. Um, while it's not as common as squamous cell carcinoma and basal cell carcinoma, for example, both of those are more common than melanoma, those are much, much less likely to travel. So the right. metastatic potential of melanoma is just off the charts compared to those cancers. So therefore, it, it just has a, um, you know, quote unquote, pound for pound, you know, far uh, more uh, life threatening aspect to it. In any case, um, as you say, you know, across the spectrum of, of superficial cancers, I'm, I'm, I'm probably bringing up those others because squamous cell carcinoma, for example, still to this day is treated with topical approaches that basically incite more inflammation, but where it's not just surgically removed, partly because people commonly have like, you know, many, many of these lesions over time and it right. you know, becomes almost impossible to get ahead of them or stay on top of them with surgery alone. So, so borrowing from the same concept that superficial cancers in some instances could be basically just further inflamed, if you will, um, and that that would, you know, be enough to get the immune system to kind of tip over you know the problem and just you know like wholesale attack uh, and, and by that you mean like freezing it right that's why you freeze like, exactly you know so that's what you're doing when you go into the de uh, dermatologist and they're freezing you know a squamous cell carcinoma of the skin of course squamous yes. cell can be other things the whole reason is just to say hey make it really you know not angry but really like calamity so that everything comes and takes care of it that's right. And there's, I mean, this, there's a certain type, certain way or multiple ways actually of killing cells that actually make them inflammatory, make them make them more visible to the immune system. And the idea is that if you can do that at a local site, that can actually spread elsewhere. And I should just mention, even though it's it's probably not on people's radar so much when they think if, if they've heard anything about kind of the revolution in terms of therapies that are relevant for melanoma, but now also for other cancers, um, they're probably thinking of drug therapies, you know, get around the body, you know, systemic therapies, as we call them. But it turns out there's actually been this sort of mini revolution of local therapies, like tumor injected therapies, um, yeah. where basically patients might have disease beyond what can be injected, but just treating a single lesion can not only cause the immune system to vigorously attack and destroy that site, um, so no no cutting out at all, just like putting putting immunologic drugs into lesions, but can actually incite immune attack of non-injected lesions. Um, and this is something that, you know, the first, the first drug that was approved for this is um, referred to as TVEC for short. It's an FDA approved yeah. drug for melanoma. Um, but that has spawned this, you know, like explosion really in terms of, um, you know, next generation strategies that are like that, um, that hopefully will ultimately be relevant for other cancers actually. Um, but you know, where, where you, you can't necessarily get a needle into every aspect of the disease, but if you can just what I sometimes call light off a stick of dynamite in one single tumor site, get the immune system to attack vigorously there, and then, you know, take the knowledge that it's gained systemically um, to attack other sites. That 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 clearly has happened, at least in a subpopulation of patients who've received TVEC, and, uh, you know, mounting evidence that some, some, some of the newer investigational therapies can do the same. Interesting. So, you know, as a, as a spoiler alert, basically you're saying the concept is a TVEC you don't have to go directly to the place of the cancer, sure. but just by stimulating, waking up the army and saying, hey, wake up, let's go attack this, you know, colony of, of cancer cells right here that remember immune cells always circulate. Obviously, they're occurring in your blood and soft tissue all the time that that can almost just like, you know, nudge everybody and say, hey, go attack the people wearing the black mask and stuff. 
And therefore, in that circulation process, you actually can end up getting people away from that lesion just because everyone's amped up and circulated and saying, let's go get this bread. And then they start attacking other places. That's a very yeah. comforting thing because it avoids meeting systemic, right, therapies that will kind of, you know, be toxic to all of your tissues and all that. You avoid all of that with this strategy. Yep. You've made it through this video and I am super stoked. Hopefully you feel a lot more knowledgeable and even somewhat comfortable about the crazy world of cancer. If you did, like, comment, but especially just share, if nothing else, to get this information out so that hopefully people are less intimidated by something that's as scary as cancer would be a big win. And we look forward to seeing you here next time.